Good morning. Today is Sunday. I am just getting my day started. Well, actually I've already started my morning. I went to church this morning and then I went straight to the grocery store and I just got back from the grocery store. So I wanted to share with y'all a really quick grocery haul and show you just some meal ideas and snack ideas of what I'm going to be eating during the busy work week. So I am kind of in a rush because I want to go ahead and show y'all this and so I can go ahead and get to the gym before the Sunday lunch crowd gets there. So without further ado, this is what I got. So a lot of these things were just replenishing items of what I've been eating on or just some staple items. I restocked on my carb master milk from Kroger. I like to get it in the vanilla brand and then to go along with that I got some more of my favorite cold brew coffee. I like the stock brand in the unsweet black version which is like extra strong. I just like the taste of it and so as mentioned in my last video I like to do four ounces of carb master milk, four ounces of cold brew coffee, and then use my first form protein powder. That's typically what I have first thing in the morning after I come home from the gym. I work out at around 4 a.m. I get to the house around 6 a.m. And so that's my first like protein source of the day. So it's definitely a staple as part of my post-workout slash first breakfast of the morning. Oh, let me show you what I pair with that. I didn't just buy this from the grocery store, this is what I've been eating on. I found this brand, it's called One Degree. It's an apple cinnamon instant oatmeal. It's really good, simple, basic ingredients, but I've been eating a serving of this along with my cold brew coffee protein shake in the morning times. Moving on to mid-morning snack, what I've been enjoying is, this is my favorite beef jerky. I get it from Kroger. It is the Simple Organic brand. I like the original beef jerky. Really great. A serving of that is 1.5 grams of fat, 4 grams of carbohydrates, and 11 grams of protein. So I got a couple of packages of that serving of beef jerky with a serving of these Blue Diamond Almonds. I tend to gravitate towards the more salty, sweetier flavors. This is in the flavor Honey Roasted. So I just do a serving of this with beef jerky. That's been my go-to snack lately. So that's a mid-morning snack. This week for lunch, I'm going to be prepping some crock-pot chicken to have uh, to make like a barbecue chicken with some green beans. So currently right now with my work schedule and kind of my what I meal prep for the week, I really only meal prep one meal and that's lunch that I take to work. This week's lunch is going to be some crock pot chicken. I picked up some chicken breast. I'm going to cook that in the crock pot and then let me show you the barbecue sauce that I'm going to add with it. The chicken I'm just going to put in the crock pot with some chicken stock and a little bit of seasonings and then when it's all done and I'll shred it up, I'll top it with this G Hughes sugar free barbecue sauce. It's hickory flavored. I love this brand. They have all kinds of flavors of different sauces and dressings. This was definitely a staple during my bikini competition preps. Love the stuff. I still utilize it when I'm trying to do a little bit better in like cutting some calories or carbs somewhere in my daily diet. Just a serving of this is really good. Two tablespoons, which is really all that I need personally for about four ounces of chicken is only two carbs. Zero fat, zero protein, only two carbs. It's great. Just add a little bit of that on there. And then with the barbecue chicken, I'm going to be pairing these Italian beans. Love canned green beans. It's my favorite type of green beans. So I'll just be doing serving of that with the barbecue chicken. So that's going to be lunch. And then for mid-afternoon snack, I've been enjoying one of my favorite Greek yogurt brands, the Light and Fit Greek Yogurt. I like to get the flavor Toasted Marshmallow. It's a good flavor between kind of like a vanilla flavor, but not so vanilla-y. I don't know. I just think this flavor, I mean, obviously it kind of tastes more creamy, kind of more marshmallow-y, but it's not too sweet. But it's a great flavor to pair with anything that you want to add into the yogurt. So I just got a couple of these. I love this brand. This is one of my favorite yogurt brands. The macros on it are fantastic. Uh, 12 grams of protein, only 8 carbs, and 0 fat, so pretty hard to beat that versus consistency and flavor. I got a couple of these, and what I've been pairing with that lately is a couple of cut up strawberries. So I got some fresh strawberries to put in the yogurt, and then I discovered this keto cereal the other weekend at Kroger. So this is by the brand Catalina Crunch. It's a keto cereal, and the reason why I got it is because it's lower in carbs but high in protein for a typical serving of cereal. So the macros on it complete are all together are five grams of fat, 14 carbs, and 11 protein. So I'm not getting it just because it's keto. I'm getting it because it's lower in carbs and high in protein, but it's actually really good. So I've got different flavors here. I've had this the first time, the fruity flavor, which tastes similar to fruity pebbles. 
I put a serving of that with the yogurt and the strawberries. The other flavor I got was chocolate. I haven't had this one yet, so I am going to try that one next. And what I've been currently eating on what to have it open back here is a cinnamon toast flavor. So these are the three flavors that I found in this brand. Really good. I think if you can find it in your grocery store, definitely give it a try. It's a great cereal substitute. Easy to add in some extra protein too. So that's my afternoon snack. That is just a few little meal ideas, some snack ideas of what I am going to be eating on during the week. For dinner, it varies. When Cody is not working at the fire department, I do cook for both me and him. Typically, I utilize Home Chef, which I talk a lot about on my channel, but just easy to do that during the busy work week. It's already planned out meals, delicious meals. You get to discover new recipes. Oven baked meals are my favorite because they're so simple. They're just like one pan dishes, mix everything up, throw it in the oven, set it for like 20, 30 minutes, however long it takes. So easy, simple, hardly anything to clean up. Those are my favorite. I utilize a lot of those during the week. My other go-to is when Cody is working at the fire department and it's just me and Slater. But just me for tonight, I'll eat one of my Flex Pro meals. So, but yeah, that is pretty much it, what I eat during the week. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put up um, at least all the refrigerator items right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the gym and get a workout in. Typically, on my Sundays, my routine is church, grocery store, and gym, and then the rest of the day is usually just like house stuff. Adulting things, you know, the things that we don't like to do, but we got to do and prepare for the work week to make sure that we are set up to be successful and prepared. It is gonna be another upper body workout. That is the first workout of the week for me. It typically starts off with a bench variation workout. I know I just did an upper body workout, but you're gonna get another one again, okay? We work a lot of upper body for power building workouts. <laughs> and today's fit, I don't know if you can really tell right now, but you're going to be seeing me wear the new Choreo Active Primal Instinct that is launching October 25th. I did get some pieces in, so later on in this video, I'll be doing a try on review for you, but I wanted to go ahead and put it on get a workout in, see how it feels and moves in action, actually at the gym, and so you'll be able to see that during my workout as well. And then when I'm wearing on top, because it's cold, winter has, fall, winter, whatever you wanna call it, has officially arrived here in Auburn, Alabama. It was like 50 something degrees this morning, it was freezing. It's warmed up a little bit now, but it's still very cold for me because I am a summer gal. I don't do cold weather, so anything below like 78 degrees is cold to me. But I'm wearing um, from a different, from an earlier launch from Choreo Active. I don't know if you can tell. It's like a crop top pullover. I did a review on this from the Serenity Collection. Was it Serenity Collection? But this was from an earlier uh, launch collection from Choreo Active. It's a crop top. It's got the pretty little emblem on it. I got it um, in three different colors, but I think this is still available on the website. And we're gonna go ahead and get ready and go to the gym. So I'll see y'all there, and then I'll see y'all back here after gym.
enjoyed today's workout. Now we're moving on to the review, the try-on portion of the fit that I had on today, which is the Choreo Active Primal Instinct. This collection is launching October 25th, which is a Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So again, the name of this collection is Primal Instinct by Choreo Active. And so the first item I'm going to be talking about is the Energy Impulse Bra. This is in the color Primal Green. This is kind of like a muted mint green. It's in a cheetah print. So I'm wearing a size small. I decided to size up. Typically I am an extra small in bottoms and tops, but I decided to size up because I have done both small and extra small in the different choreoactive collections. And I think I am definitely more of an extra small. It's just depending on the fit, it may be a little tighter in the lat area. It feels great in the chest area, but in the lat area it can be pretty squeezing. I have larger lats, obviously a bigger chest, but the extra small I feel like holds the girls in the best, so I typically like to get an extra small. And I will say, I probably should have gotten an extra small in this sports bra as well. The fit is perfect, like everything else, like it fits great in the chest, it fits great in the waist area around my, um, my lats, but I will say that the straps do have a little bit of a give to it. And so I think if it was an extra small, I think it would have been like a little bit tighter and it would have helped them kind of stay in place because I did realize that while I was working out that I felt like the straps just kind of started to migrate to the outsides. So I think sizing down in this sports bra actually would be like a perfect fit for me. But the details, it's just a basic, simple, just scoop neck. These straps go straight down the back like this and it's the same style in the back of the sports bra, just simple scoop that you can see. Very simplistic sports bra, which I really like. I like simple. I'm, I know a lot of people like to get all crazy with the straps and stuff in the back, but I really love a simple just sports bra. Very comfortable. The material is pretty thick. It's got about a one inch, I would say one inch ish. Uh, waistband which is uh, seems to be very supportive it does stay in place really well I would say this is kind of more of like a medium impact sports bra it does have a good bit of give so I wouldn't really say that it's a high impact so if you plan on doing a bunch of jumping or running this may not be the best bra for you if you have a larger chest size like me super soft material if you got any of the pieces from the serenity collection you know how great and amazing that material and fit was as well. I would say this is even softer, but still the same luxury, high-end feeling material, but a little bit softer, if that makes any sense. It does have removable pads in here, which typically I will remove them. It just depends if I feel like they keep getting like bunched up and or if it's like a lighter color and you can kind of see the outline of the removable pads, I will usually just typically remove them. Such a comfortable fit. It, it moves really well. The straps don't hurt my shoulders. Don't feel too tight. Like I said, I probably should have just gone ahead and gotten the extra small and that way I think the straps would be a little bit more secure and don't feel like they're trying to migrate on the outsides of my shoulders. Even with that, the fit is still great. I just think I could probably use an extra small. One thing about this collection I will say, it is true to size. So if you're typically an extra small, go an extra small, which is what I should have done. So that was my mistake. I know like in the last collection, so again in the Serenity, um, it was recommended to size down just because they had 
got a little bit more give in them. The pants that I'm wearing are true to size. So here are the leggings. Now what I love about these leggings is they're kind of like a cross between a legging and a jogger. So it's got the tie drawstring up top. You can tighten it as tight as you'd like. You can tie it. I like this little additional feature. I haven't really seen any leggings like this that are still like a true legging, but they have that jogger kind of look to them. The waistband is very flattering. I think it sits just right on me as far as like right above the belly button. I like how it cuts in like right below the ribs, but still above my hips. These are a seven eighths legging. So they are a little bit cropped at the ankle. So for all you short girls out there like me, you'll probably really like this leggings as they're not gonna bunch up at the ankles or anything. They're going to hit you just right in the leg, in the ankle area. The other cool feature about these leggings are they have pockets. Look how deep this pocket goes. That is a good hidden seamless pocket that you didn't even know was there. And check out the other side, you actually have a zipper pocket. That's awesome. The zipper pocket, the pockets are very slick and very smooth. You wouldn't even know that these were pockets because they blend in so well with the pattern and the contouring of the leggings. So, so it does have some additional contouring all down the legging, all the seams. Also the signature contouring on the glute area, the upper glute area, which is on all of the choreoactive leggings. Really nice feature. It's not too like bam accentuating like looking at your butt but it does just enough to make it even that much more flattering which i really like in these leggings so again the material is amazing it's so nice it's thick it's very soft it stays in place it hugs your curves in all the right places very movable not only is it a thick material but it's still very breathable i'm really loving this set so far so the next piece we're going to be talking about is the energy Adrenaline short. These are amazing, much like in a previous collection. It's kind of in between like a biker short and like your normal shorty short, but I just think that these are the perfect length. So for me personally, I don't like the length of a full on biker short. I got really short stocky legs. I just don't think they're flattering on a body type like me. Some people can pull them off great. I just prefer an in between much like these shorts right here. I also don't really prefer to wear the short shorts because then my butt hangs out and then they just tend to ride up and then my inside thigh fat's all hanging out and it's just not very flattering to me personally. So to me, this is the perfect in between short for that but super cute so you definitely have the choice between just the regular legging or you could do the shorts same details you've got the drawstring here which makes it like a hybrid between a legging and a jogger you still got the sleek hidden pocket on the right side as well as the zipper on the left side great option your great addition to the collection so you've got something for everyone and then the last item of this collection is this Energy Innate Crop Tee. This is in the color Pure White. Just your simple, basic cropped tee. This is in a size small. Again, I think I could do an extra small, but I actually prefer like a looser, bigger fit when it comes to crop tees like this anyway. So maybe the small is actually just perfect, but a very cute addition to this collection. I love a good crop tee and just something that's like a simple crop tee like this. that You could either wear to the gym, athleisure, or pair it with like a really nice outfit when you're going out. Very light, very flowy. It's got a good stretch to it. It's definitely not as a thick or heavy material as the sports bra on the leggings itself, but just your simple crop tee. This is going to be available in pure white and then also black. You know, just an additional piece to throw in with the cute animal print that's come out. Just something simple and basic to just break up the pattern. I love it. Very cute. And then the other thing that was changed or updated on this collection is the logo. So um, this is the legging that I'm holding up. So you can see the logo itself is stitched into the legging right here. Hopefully you can see that detail. It's very minute, very simple and basic, but I think this was a good update or a good change to this collection because if you remember from the previous collection, she had that really beautiful, luxurious gold bar for her, um, for the line emblem on her pieces. The only thing with that is, is depending on how delicate you were with washing those pieces, that bar in the stitching would 
would come out. I did have a few of the previous pieces where the little logo bar did come off or started to unravel where it was sewn in. So I think this is a very smart move to do is just do the logo stitched in to the material so that we don't have to run into that problem because not everybody's going to take the time to hand wash or delicately wash their workout gear. I know I don't. I just throw it in the washing machine. I at least don't dry it in the dryer. I just hang them to dry. I just wanted to point it out. As much as we love that gold bar, the, like attention to detail on her previous collection and pieces. This is just an updated way to still have the logo in there, but it be very sleek and it match and not distract from the beautiful pieces itself. So that is all the items that is launching for the Primal Instinct collection on October 25th, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You get the sports bra, the leggings, the shorts, and the crop tee. So there's four different items launching. It does come in three different colors. So you've got the Primal Green, Primal Blue, and there's a Primal Black, which I'll put on the screen so you can see the different color options. And then in the crop tee, your options are going to be white and black in that. I just have the Primal Green pieces with me, so that's what I reviewed today. If you're not already, be sure to follow Corey active so that way you can see all the different pieces all the different colors on different body styles and types so you can be on look out which color you think you might want or which piece you might want and the launch for the primal instinct collection is going to be october 25th which is a monday at 9 a.m pacific standard time and as always i do have a support code that y'all can use that will get you 10 percent off your entire purchase that is also good for the entire website site wide if you see anything else that's still left over from previous collections that you want to snag so be sure to use my support code if if you like that does directly help support me and as always I love and appreciate all the support and love that I get from y'all thank you so much so that's gonna wrap up today's video let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about the launch that is coming up but thank you so much for watching today's video I'm gonna get going with the rest of my Sunday doing all my Sunday adulting chores and with that I will see y'all in the next video bye y'all